This just in. If you don't want to do this, don't do it. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candice. I'm Candice and we're going to be conversing today. So you can tell by the title of this video, I'm washing my makeup brushes in a whole new way. And this was actually recommended to me by a friend. Her name is Sunny and I've known her for a long time and she does all the makeup and all the hair and I trust her. I was a little bit skeptical because I feel like this could damage my brushes in the long run, but also I did start off with just my cheap brushes and the ones that I've had for a long, long time that I wouldn't be sad to have to throw out if I needed to. Also, I switched to a little more um, efficient method. Initially, I was using a pillowcase and that worked out fine, but my pillowcases belong on my pillows. And my hairstylist actually recommended bra bags. And I purchased a set of five of these on Amazon and they're different sizes. I used the two smallest ones that came in the set for this batch of makeup brushes. So here's what it looks like. Each of them has a different color and I'll show you a picture. Some of them come much, much smaller. I got the medium batch, I'm pretty sure. There's one even bigger than this, but I never even thought to use a bra bag because I don't wash my bras in bags. I put them on delicate and I just call it a day. So I got the bags, I divvied them up and I'm gonna show you exactly how I put them in the washing machine. did wash these on um, deep water wash uh, regular cycle. I didn't do delicate. I find when I wash them on delicate inside of something, they don't get very clean. But here they are, here are my two bags. And the only thing I don't like about washing them is that I generally wash them with, with towels or jeans and I get a little bit of lint on the bag, but that doesn't get on my brush. So that's perfect. So I'm gonna take some of these out and just make sure that they got clean with these bags. Also, I got these bags on Amazon and I will put the link to my shop where you can purchase these bags if you want to. So here is my first set of brushes. And they all look relatively clean with the exception of this one foundation and contour brush. I feel like if I just fluff up the brush, it'll look a little bit better. But you can see that it's still a little bit two-toned and it has a little bit of foundation trapped right there. But the rest of my brushes, they all look really, really good. I'm gonna lay them out here so I can show you them individually. I have this little lipstick brush that did not get clean. But for the most part, all the rest of my brushes are amazing. Now, there are some things that you need to know about washing your brushes this way. Water can get down into the handle of the brush and uh, loosen up the fibers. So far, I've not had that happen and I've washed my brushes this way about six or seven times. I did start off with my Real Techniques brushes and my BH Cosmetic brushes because those were cheaper and older, but now I'm doing it to my Sigma brushes as well. And it really just takes all the time out of getting my brushes clean. I would stand in front of my sink and have to rub it on the little pad in my sink one by one, and I don't have time for that. So I'm noticing that the ones that have the red pigments are the hardest to clean, and that's okay, because I just will only use them for red pigments from now on. Let's take a look at the second bag. Just as I suspected, the lint on the outside of the bag did not get on the inside of the bag because the holes are so fine that nothing can really get in there. And here are my brushes. This one foundation brush is a little bit dirty, but I can wash that one by hand. But as you can see, I have a lot of brushes and this is not all of them, but I just it just makes life so much easier when I can wash them in the washing machine. 
The reason why I wash it with towels or jeans is so that the brushes don't knock up against my washing machine and make a bunch of noise. I don't think it's going to hurt anything, but I don't want to hear the cycle running for 30 or 35 minutes making all that noise. So putting jeans or shirts or towels in there really helps it stay quiet. So these bags were $7.99. There were five in the pack. I'm going to keep these two for washing my brushes and my sponges, and then I'll keep the other ones actually for laundry. Again, I'll put the link to these bags in my description box and you can get them through my Amazon shop. Let me know if you try them. Obviously, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to do it. Thanks for watching me on this episode of Conversations with Candace and until next time, y'all have a great day.